floppy swatches. Today I have these two stampers from Born Pretty Store. I bought these. I'll be reviewing them. Here is the clear. I'm going to go ahead and take it out of the package. They're very comparable to the Crayo Shop stampers, so I'll be comparing all three today. It is super soft, a little bit sticky, and nice and squishy. So you can see how well it squishes. Very pliable. It still feels sturdy though. So here's the base of it. It's very reminiscent of the Creative Shop stamper. This is the red stamper from BornPrettyStore.com. It has a little bit of a uh, fold in it, so I'm hoping that doesn't affect the stamping. It's very soft, super squishy. I feel like it might even be softer than the clear a little bit, maybe. I feel like it is. I don't know if it may be a little thicker as well. So they're both sticky, not super sticky, but super soft. Here's the Creative Shop Stamper. I'm going to go ahead and take it out of its base. If you'd like to see how I decorate it, I'll leave that link down below. The Born Pretty Stores are a little bit thinner, excuse that nail polish, and uh, taller as well. So, but almost the same, just a little bit smaller and taller. They fit inside. So, I think the bases may actually be almost the same size at the top. I like how the Born Pretty stamp fits snugly in it. I don't feel like it's going to go anywhere. It's nice and stable. So here is the Creative Shop head to the left and the Born Pretty Store stamper to the right. The Born Pretty Store is a little bit glossier, maybe a little bit stickier. That may be because I use the Creative Shop stamper almost every day. That's my go-to stamper. I feel like Born Pretty Store is just a little bit squishier and just a little bit stickier. Not that the Creative Shop Stamper is not soft, I just feel like maybe the Born Pretty Stores is softer. And here is the Creative Shop head on the left and the red Born Pretty Store Stamper on the right. I feel like the red is a lot squishier. So here are all three heads together. This is the Creative Shop Stamper, the red Born Pretty, and the clear Born Pretty. Help me demo today. I'll be using the Queen Special Edition Plate SE01 Side B and White Conad Stamping Polish. I'm going to go for this area here that's a little more floral. So just a few swipes of the Conad Stamping Polish. So it's better in view. A scrape with my Creative Shop Scraper. BornPrettyStore.com just came out with some new uh, scrapers. I do have some of those on order. So then an upwards roll. This is the Creative Shop Stamper. So you can see how that picked up. Once more, the same image. I'm going to go in with a white Conad stamping polish. Just get a good amount on there. Scrape it downwards with my Crave Shop scraper. And then an upwards roll with the clear stamper from BornPrettyStore.com. So that's how it picked up. Very nice. Super crisp. I'm going to repeat the process with the white Conad stamping polish once more for the red Born Pretty Store stamper. So just a scrape upwards roll with the red headed stamper and this one picked up very nicely I, the line or the crease in it didn't affect it at all I'm going to test these again with my golden Russian plate from Petla using I'd Melt For You by China Glaze so this is how it picked up on the Creative Shop stamper and I'm going to go ahead and apply it to my nail to show you how they stamp so this is over Zoya's Anna clear stamper from BornPrettyStore.com. So it didn't pick up at all. I tried it several times and it just did not want to pick up silver. So I'm going to go ahead and stamp what it did pick up. I tried rolling, I tried dabbing, so the clear didn't do well with that. I'm going to repeat the process and this time use the red stamper. And it picked up great. So I don't know what it is. I, and these are unprimed just straight out of the bag. So after priming it may pick up the silver better. So I'm going to stamp on my ring finger with the red-headed stamper. Since the silver didn't pick up so well on my middle finger with the clear head, I'm going to go back in using M Polish's Cayuga and double stamp. So this is one coat of Cayuga on the same Petla Golden Russian plate. An upwards roll with my Creative Shop stamper and it picks up perfect. So I'm going to stamp this on top of the silver and on top of Zoya's Anna. 
nice double stamp effect. I did the same process, scraping and rolling, and this is how the clear picked up the black, so much better. I'm gonna stamp it on top of the silver that it really didn't pick up, so that's a lot better. It may just need to be primed. And here's the same steps on the red stamper. I love that the crease doesn't mess up the stamping really at all. It's super soft. And here it is stamped on my ring finger. I do feel like the cube had dried a little bit. That's why the stamping's not so crisp, but it did a great job. So here are all three stampers. My creative shop is usually my go-to, but out of these two, I'm really enjoying the red stamper. I think it does a great job, especially for the price that it is. I'll be picking up an extra one for a future giveaway and maybe just even one for a backup. So I'll link all these products down below. If you'd like to see more pictures, you can visit my blog at sloppyswatches.wordpress.com. You can use my coupon code JFGK31 for 10% off all non-sale items from bornprettystore.com. So thanks so much for watching, guys. See you next time.